I put this new hammered finish from Krylon to the test. Let's talk about what I learned and let's see just what it looks like once it's applied. I started out by applying this product to three different mediums I had on hand. I used a 4x6 card, a PVC pipe, and a piece of tile. As I began to apply this finish, I learned that it's a very translucent finish and it's a very watery finish. You do need to apply a few coats before you can get full coverage, but in between these coats you'll notice that the finish almost separates on the surface to really create that hammered look. It puts a lot of divots in it and almost looks like the surface of the moon at times. I learned on my first coat with the copper that it really seems to separate a lot more than the gray did. That could have been due to the lack of shaking cans. But when I went back and tried a second sample, I noticed that it still had a bit more pitting or divots or more hammered look than the gray does. The gray is more of a traditional metal rather than the hammered finish. But overall, I was really excited with what I had seen in these samples and I wanted to go ahead and try and apply them to an actual pipe project that I had going. Before I could spray the finish on these pipes, I needed to make sure I attached fishing line and securely fasten them to the rack outside. I purchased these pipes as part of a Amazon upgrade and review video where I'm going to upgrade and review an Amazon pipe shelf or pipe bar. Make sure you check out that video lined up after this video if that's something that you're interested in and make sure you hit subscribe so you can see all the new videos I got coming out. Today's artistic tip is to always try to hang your objects. I've learned over time that I get a much more professional looking finish when I hang my objects outside and spray them rather than lay them on a flat surface or try to use a wedge so that they don't stick to the surface. But I've always found that I still end up applying just a little bit too much finish when something's laid flat. And when I have it hanging, I'm really aware that there could be drips and I apply a much softer, much more professional looking finish. The most important thing to remember when using spray paint is that less is always more. You have to have a lot of patience and a key eye for detail, but if you do so, you can certainly achieve a very professional looking finish from just a spray can. I prefer to use a three to four coat method, building up a finish from about six to 12 inches away over a two, three hour span of time, rather than just a one or two coat spray that may be within that hour. You wanna reapply each one of these coats within 30 minutes. That way it has something to adhere to on the surface. This product says that it's dried to the touch within an hour and for heavy use within 24 hours. You also want to be aware that applying spray paint to a surface that has this many curves or this many edges can present quite a challenge and create a lot of drips. So it's even more paramount that we stay that 6 to 12 inches apart and slowly try to build up a finish rather than try to get each one of those little spots that you think you may, may have missed. In my opinion, after reviewing two different colors on a few different surfaces, I can confidently say that I'm really happy with the finish that I was able to achieve with these products. The copper adds a really fun look to a lot of projects and really does give you that hammered look. And the gray, it really does mimic a raw steel without the worry of a rust. Overall, I'd give this product a quality rating of a 4.5 out of 5. The only downside I found to this product is that the hues seem to differ just a bit between coats and depending on how much you shake or how little you shake the can, as well as a bit lighter than is the example that's on the cap of the can. Now don't forget before you go, if you liked this project and you wanted to see more about how it turned out and see a little bit more of this finish and a few other things that I did with this finish, make sure you check out the video I have lined up for you after this one and make sure you hit subscribe so you don't miss any of the new projects I have coming. Thanks for watching, guys.